Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Catherine, a sci-fi horror game that involves scientists and may or may not involve a person named Catherine. No relation to a game called Catherine that has to do with sheep. What do you look at me like that? Hey, you want to say something? Big day today, huh? Yeah. I hope it goes well. Yep. Thanks. So. Yeah. Elevator. Floor 2. I'll see you later then. It's a little small talk in the elevator. Fairly normal. Man, it's nice having a lab coat. Feels good. Makes you feel important. Makes you feel cool. So how's the experiments going? You're late. What is that? It floats in the murky fluid. The pulse is strong and healthy. It's about time. Are you ready to start? No. Talk to me when you are ready. All signs are normal. I haven't had a proper sleep for months. I'm going to take a massification after this. I'm not sure how you're all so confident about this. What makes you sure this isn't going to go horribly wrong? Ah, forget it. We've come this far. Let me ask you, when has a weird experiment involving, like, creatures ever gone wrong? Never. We're professionals. Just gotta double check, fail safe devices. Yes. Here we go. Everyone ready at their post. Counting down. Three. Two. One. What's going on? What's that noise? Uh, sir? 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 Fail safe? What happened? Oh, thankfully there's a flashlight here. A flashlight is lying on the ground. Pick it up, yes. Have to toggle flashlight. Oh god! This is awkward. Yeah. That's no good. Smells like chemicals. Why did you smell it? Pieces of what used to be the head is splattered across this place, and I'm stepping in it. Torso ripped apart. Still warm, it seems, and I'm also stepping on it. Face and limbs are torn off. Completely torn to pieces. Impossible to tell who this is. What did I live? Like, that's convenient, right? A little weird. The door's locked. Who's calling? You know, I should really stop stepping my coworkers. Someone has a phone on them. Which one of you has a phone? A communicator is ringing from this body. It's coming out of the pocket. Reach for it? Yes. Here we go. Hello? It's me, Catherine. Oh, thank God you're okay. Something went terribly wrong. Everyone, please come find me. 
I'm so scared. I'm on the second floor in the... Catherine? I have to go find her. The overseer's badge should get me past the lockdown. It must be here somewhere. We're here. No luck. No luck. So you're the overseer. You found it. So, here's my speculation. That door is locked. How did this creature escape? Is there a vent somewhere? Or, they kept us alive because they want us to open the door. Let's see if this works. It's open. Here's how you'll tell. Does the bloodstain lean outside? No. Hmm? Because if you have bloodstain outside, then of course, okay, it escaped its dragon bodies out there. But no blood. A little weird, right? Near vet. Maybe I can open the right tool. Second floor. What's going on in 2B? Or not to be? Huh. Lab X. Sounds promising. It's locked by some device. Can probably override the lock in the control room. Huh! What the hell was that? clasp Golden Freeman How did this get here? It'll come in handy though. The creature's following me. It's Harpus and following me. It literally came in there, dropped the crowbar, and it's like, hey, open that vent for me. I can't use tools for some reason. <laughs> it's jammed shut. There must be another way in. I can drop in from the vent. Use the crowbar. Oh my god. How could this be? Catherine. This can't be happening. Wait. What's she holding? Shotgun. It's time for revenge. So something killed Catherine. But... It could have easily killed her in the time frame of us getting out. Although I like to think that it, it emulated Catherine's voice. Maybe even took her skin. I can override the lockdown manually. Do it? Overriding lockdown. I should be able to get into the Lab X now. Can I... Can I leave... from the front? Because there was a door. No, I guess not. She's dead. Alright, let's go to Lab X. See, Manly is smart. You put you put Manly in charge of this type of stuff. Don't put one of these grunts in front of it. Because they're going to get, you know, tricked by the monster and, like, unleash some weird thing into the world. You make Manly the head of, a, you know, Umbrella or one of these organizations, things would be done right. 
No, no zombie leaks. No aliens. No nothing. What the person? What's going on? Catherine? No, you're not Catherine. Catherine? How is this possible? See, she made the call. I'm pretty sure. Shoot it! Use the shotgun right now! No. No. No! Shotgun. Die. Die. I said more than... Die. Come on. Hmm. Now it looked like a normal body in the end. So you're taking it over two ways. Either the monster regressed back into Catherine. Because, you know, like it, it took her body or something. We do have to take note that Catherine's body, her actual one we met in the office, was very mangled. It had like its skin all kind of ripped off. So do we confirm that's Catherine or not? I don't know. It could have like taken her body, her shape, and then transformed. Uh, there could be a twist where that body wasn't Catherine. Or it could be a symbolic thing. Like we didn't actually shoot a monster. We shot Catherine because we were like freaked out and scared. Maybe the monster already escaped. Who knows? But logically, the thing that would make the most sense, as I point out, is that the monster mimicked her voice, mimicked her body, and then wanted you to help it escape, hence why it spared you and, like, left all these things for you to get so it could escape. So I'm going to go with the body at the end isn't the real Catherine, that's just the monster deforming into a humanoid form again. But yeah, anyway, that's it for Catherine. So a kind of a little, little creepy uh, kind of game jam horror game. Like I said, if I'm correct on the plot, I do like the detail that there was no blood in the hallway. If that's intentional, I like that detail. How there was obvious. It's kind of obvious, but at the same time, it's fine if it's obvious. Because then it's like, okay, here's the story. Bam. And you know, we survived in the end. At least I hope we did. And it's pretty rare for a scientist to survive these situations. So good to our pro tag. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Catherine. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.